capsized before? No. no Wonderful. No. No. But you no. newbies. Newbies? No, no, don't call me. No, no, no. Yeah, All right, you. so don't what do we me. see here? Capsize cap drill. Awesome. All right. It's important to know how to capsize, okay? Because that way, if you pay attention, Cole. Okay. Thank you. Remember what I told you today? Oh. Feed the good wolf. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. Otherwise, I will make you sit here and separate you from your friend. Oh, thank you. All right, so, all right. Here we have Susie. Okay, no, can you do a Cole? Story. Here's Susie. Had his we have Susie okay, Cole. Cole. Okay, Cole the girl. Okay, here's Next. Susie Cole. She's having a great day. The sun is smiling at her. All of a what? sudden, a gust of wind comes, okay? Or she sits on the same side as her boob. Okay, and then C-Max. all of a sudden her boat starts to tip over, and then bam. That's why you don't. She's smiles. in the water. Okay. Now she's dirty. Susie is more than likely gonna fall between Susie the mast. Cole. Please listen to my story. It's really good. I promise I'll tell it again. Between the mast and the boom. All right. So now she's stuck. Sometimes she's stuck. She's the out. boat will do more than just capsize. Sometimes it will turtle. Okay. Oh, now Susie Cole is angry. Okay, that means she has to put in extra effort to right her boat. Okay, if your boat turtles, chances are the mass is going to go stick into the mud. Okay, and that might make it even more difficult for you to right your boat. So you have to act fast. To what? Miles. To right your boat? Yeah, to erect it, right it, make it right again. Okay, so you have to act fast before, your please hand, raise your hand and I will pick on you, okay? You have to act, act fast before your mask sticks into the mud or your rudder falls off or anything like that. So, this right here is a center board, even though it doesn't necessarily look like it. That's the rudder, okay? So, if you turtle your boat, you have to swim, okay, here's the water. You have to push down onto the edge of the boat, there's a little gunnel here that you can push down with your hands. Oh, yeah. Fire the back. Uh-huh. And when you do that, the center board is going to start going towards you. When the center board starts going towards you, you can reach up for it and then put your toes onto the gunnel. You push down with your toes and push towards you with the center board. If you put your hands up here, you'll have more leverage than if you grab it on the sides down here. Okay? So make sure you grab it up top. Right? And start pulling that way with your body weight, your butt, all of it, okay? Once you start doing that, your boat is gonna start turning around. Now, one really important thing, if the wind is coming from this side, okay, and you are on the leeward side, on the lee side, or on the opposite side of the wind of your boat trying to right it, what's gonna end up happening is your boat is gonna with the weight that you're giving it, it's gonna barrel and it's gonna recapsize oh over and over and over. So you have to pay attention to where the wind is coming from and actually swim to the side where the wind is from and then over? try to ride it, okay? How does she flip over? How does she flip over? What do you mean? She, she, she used to be holding the, the center board, but now she's holding the tip. So a great question. So once you start pulling on the center board, it's gonna start going into the water and then you have to grab the opposite side of the boat so that it starts flipping 360 all the way back up. And then you so the center board comes to you, all of a sudden it's past you, you can step on the center board with your knees and your feet and grab the other side of the boat and pull it towards you, and then the boat is right side up again. Okay? Once that happens, you swim to the back, see this right here? And you put your hands, this is the stern of the boat, you put your hands on the stern, Push yourself up, make sure the buckles of your life jacket aren't getting stuck onto the edge of the boat, so maybe you might have to do one of these. And you kick, 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 like your Sonic the Hedgehog, okay? And so you pull yourself in. There might be a hiking strap in the center of your boat, that big flat strap, and you can use that to pull yourself in, all right? And once you are inside, there will be a baler inside your boat that is tied to your boat, specifically for when moments like this happen, your baler doesn't fall out and swim away, okay? So you grab your baler and you start bailing your water as fast as possible. The faster you do it, the better, because in an emergency situation, if you're able to correct your boat quickly, less bad things will happen. Does that make sense? Oh, baler is like, like water. Like if you, 